Okay, so picking up where we left off last time, um, I ended the last lecture by talking about this electromagnetic spectrum right here. And the way that the electromagnetic spectrum works is longer wavelengths typically have less energy, or they do have less energy. And then the shorter the wavelength gets, the more energetic the radiation is. Um, we actually have radio waves that pass through our bodies harmlessly. Whereas gamma rays can cause very serious havoc. But what actually emits radiation and what type of radiation does it emit? Well, there are actually three facts and laws that I need to introduce you to. Um, the first one is, believe it or not, every object with a temperature above absolute zero emits radiation. I'll say that again. Every object with a temperature above absolute zero emits radiation. Um, I like to call this Oprah's Law just because of the joke of you emit radiation and you emit radiation and you emit radiation. Everybody emits radiation. Um, but the idea there is, believe it or not, every single object surrounding you right now, including yourself, is emitting radiation. That being said, how much radiation are you emitting and what type of radiation you, are you emitting? Well, these two laws down here can actually define that. Um, the first law, this is actually called the Stefan Boltzmann law, just states the warmer the object, the more radiation it emits per unit area. And what I mean by per unit area is don't worry about the size. Just think of a little chunk of that object. And the way it works is the warmer the object is, the more radiation that chunk emits. So if I had a chunk of sun and a chunk of earth, and they're both the same size, the chunk of sun is way hotter, so it'd emit more radiation. Um, the other, the second law is what type of radiation? So what type of radiation do you think you emit? Well, believe it or not, you can actually calculate that. Um, if you were to take human temperature, human body temperature, which is approximately um, 300 Kelvin, approximately 300 Kelvin, actually slightly more than that, but approximately 300 Kelvin, and you were to divide 2898 by it, you would get, you would end up getting a, um, a value, so 2898 divided by 300, 2898 divided by 300, and you're actually going to do an exercise like this in this investigation that's going to give you, I'm, an, I'm not going to use my calculator right now because I don't want to. That's going to give you right around 10 micrometers of radiate, um, a, a wavelength of 10 micrometers. Go back and go back to that electromagnetic spectrum image. And what would that be? So around 10 micrometers, that's actually going to be um, around 10,000 nanometers. That's right here, well in the infrared, well in the infrared. So we emit infrared radiation. Now what would happen is if our bodies were to heat up and get hotter and hotter and hotter, our wavelength would get shorter and shorter and shorter. And then maybe at some point we'd be emitting visible light. Um, I always like to tell people you are radiant, but you are not hot enough to glow. Um, 